This is KION News Channel 546 at 6. Good evening. A move here to vote no from the Monterey County Board of Supervisors earlier today. That's to bring back a mask requirement for people indoors. That has now failed today. Su two supervisors here voted against it. Thanks for joining us tonight for KION News at 6. I'm Veronica Macias. KION's Lisa Principe joining us now in the studio tonight with why those supervisors felt that it wasn't needed in Monterey County right now. Lisa? Veronica, the indoor mask mandate needed four votes of approval to pass, but Supervisors John Phillips and Chris Lopez both said they don't think the mandate is necessary at this time. Phillips said he was concerned about going against County Health Officer Dr. Edward Moreno, who has said that he doesn't think an indoor mandate is needed right now. During public comment, many business owners were concerned with having to enforce the mandate while some parents spoke in favor of protecting younger kids who can't be vaccinated. I've heard from a couple of event planners already that they're reconsidering having events if there's a strict man mandate in place. If events are canceled or postponed, many of my food and beverage associates who want to work will not receive very many hours, if any. Teachers and school staff and students, they wear masks all day. It's not enough because the majority of cases are in the majority of cases in schools are coming from community. It's a community spread. Supervisors did discuss reducing the mandate from 60 days to 30, but it still did not pass. Supervisor Wendy Rue Askew did say that she looks forward to revisiting the issue again if cases continue to rise. Veronica, back to you. 